Bergen County, New Jersey is under a state of emergency. Residents there were hit hard by the flooding and downed trees. CBS 2's Nick Calloway is in Lodi with more. As the sun rose Thursday, so did the water. Many homes in Lodi took on a devastating amount of water from this storm. Entire chunks of the city are under several feet of water. And pretty soon, all their belongings will be on the curb, and we see their whole life on the curb. It, it's heartbreaking. We bumped into Karen Viscana, the former mayor of Lodi, who said many of the people who live here won't be able to sleep in their homes tonight. It's just sadness, sadness. It's, it's mayhem. Countless drivers who took the chance and drove through high water had to abandon their cars and trucks and swim for it. Just to the north in Rochelle Park, flooded out cars littered roadways Thursday morning while firefighters worked to get drivers to safety. And one town over in Saddlebrook, water bubbled up from floors and walls in John McKay's home. We had six inches of water, so we'll hopefully uh, be okay. Nobody's you know injured, hurt, so... You know, we're, we're happy that we have what we have. All that water came from the nearby Saddle River, which swelled overnight and swamped cars and homes. Even after the rain stopped, the river kept rising. We got water in our basement for the first time in 15 years, so that tells you how bad. There's no place for it to go. 15 minutes north, the relentless rain and high winds devastated parts of Ridgewood Wednesday night. Yeah, you just heard a loud shush, and then you saw the flash from the power line going down. On Woodside Avenue, this large tree toppled onto a home around 10.30 p.m., bringing down power lines and a transformer and knocking out power. Fortunately, no one here was injured. Across Bergen County, I'm told thousands of people have had to be rescued from their homes and cars over the last 24 hours. I spoke to the county executive this afternoon. He said it's not complete devastation, but it's close to it. In Lodi, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.